So this is why I was frustrated with this group. At no point at any station do you see any rowers simply compressing and then changing directions at the catch. Across the board there's some element of reaching or falling into the catch. There's, it's close. Right, but David, let's look at the rhythm that you've got going right now. Uh, uh. Uh, mm. Imagine if you got set just a little bit earlier in the upper body. If you saw that triangle get set up and stretched out just a little bit earlier, and spent just a little bit more time moving up the slide and a little bit less time in transition. Here's where the transition starts, right here. As soon as the heels come up, the handle starts to slow down or there's pressure on the footboards. And then the change in directions is a little bit of a change, change in speed. If you, could get, if you could get set earlier, take even more time getting set but make it less vertical, just get set and then stretch the slide out, the transition at the front end would take less time. It's very good. It's pretty good right here. You're doing a pretty good job. But I mean, notice, look at how much longer you would be if your pelvis was actually rocking forward. And then, uh, you know, Brendan, this is what I was talking about. To me, that catch position does not, that makes my low back hurt. You're in your traps. The roundest part of your back is right, right there, or no, maybe a little bit higher. Right there, right? And I assume that's where you're getting your pain, right? And then, and then when you drive, I'm seeing your traps, your, 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 your powerhouse isn't supported here. Everything needs to be drawing in towards that spot right there, the pelvic floor. So the shoulders should be unshrugged. Thing is, it's, it's very powerful, Brendan, but it could think about how much more powerful it would be and less painful it would be if your shoulders were unshrugged and the catch were actually being taken. Oops and the transition in the lower body, if the transition were happening in the lower body. But right now, most of that transition is happening in the, in the mid-back. Very powerful. But it could be a lot more powerful and a lot more horizontal if the, if the initia initiation of the drive were happening more in the lower body. And you can see there's some comp compensation in your upper body for the lack of ankle mobility. All right, watch, watch when the heels come up. As soon as the heels come up, your upper body starts to collapse because you're looking for more length. See that? 